Welcome back guys. This is the first premium device from the Realme or you can say it's the first flagship phone from the Realme. It has all the latest cutting edge technology which you can see right now on other phones or other phones which are going to come later or sooner. So what's the special on the back panel? This is the world's first smartphone which is using a copolymer bio-based material or you can say it the back panel is made from the biomass waste for example like the paper but yes it looks cool like color is very nice it feels like paper but actually uh, if you have a phone which has a vegan leather this phone will give you a feeling of that like it is a nice one it, the phone is not very heavy it is around 190 gram it feels good like on this one back side it has a curved edges on the front it has a flat display so it gives you a nice comfortable feeling let's get inside and see how about the display according to the company this is the world's first smartphone that has a ltpo 2.0 technology with quad hd resolution that means this phone can select the refresh rate from starting from the 1 hertz up to 120 hertz so again there's no cost compromise the display is very bright it is not the brightest display samsung galaxy s22 ultra or xiaomi 12 pro also has a slightly more brighter display but in no way this display is bad looking display no cost cutting no compromise here just for instance this phone has the same technological specs that you get on this phone but this is a curved one that depends on you like what kind of display you're looking for so it checks this marks also and how about the performance this phone comes with the latest snapdragon 8 gen 1 processor so again it is a very good processor the latest you can get on the android and it has a huge score it is n to 8.4 so that's why it is less than a million but yeah it's a good one on using this phone i mean i did not found any issue it is fast it's a snappy obviously there will not be any lag only thing i was concerned about is about the heating heating issue because the snapdragon 8 series you might have seen like triple eight and uh, 870 they have a lot of issues so company now trying to bring a larger vapor cooling more of the stainless steel just to make the phone more cooler so performance is again very good on this phone so again no compromise here you get all the best that you want and you you are getting on other phones too this phone is running the latest android 12 and uh, it is real mui 3.0 you do have the dynamic ram expansion but the good part is that according to the company with this premium phone they are going to give you three years of software update so again in terms of long usage if you spend a lot of money definitely this phone will keep on working at least for two to three years we can assume right now cannot say in the future did they do some cost cutting on the speakers too full volume let's play some facebook video yeah, Oppo F3 GT. timer Let's start or yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 F3 GT. You get a dual speaker here, one on the earpiece and one on the bottom. Speakers are loud, sound is good. There is a Dolby Atmos support. So again, you get a dual speaker. And but yeah, there is no headphone jack. I think most of the premium phones they are not giving giving you headphone jack. Yeah, I think Xiaomi 12 Pro they did. They also don't have the headphone jack. So again, in the audio department, it is good. How about the battery? You get the 5000 milliamps battery here. Battery backup is very good. It is, I would say, it's easily two day phone provided if you follow, like uh, you do select the auto refresh rate and uh, the resolution you selected the auto again. So, in that combination, you will definitely get the two days battery backup. Yeah, there are phones available, for example, Xiaomi 12 Pro. It will give you 120 watt, but here you get the usual 65 watt now the fun stuff is to see how good the camera is you get the triple camera setup there's a two dual 50 megapixel camera and there's a three megapixel camera this is the world's first smartphone having the microscopic mode how about the photographs so sony imx 766 is a very good sensor most of the photographs that i have taken they are very close to the natural one so you will say the color accuracy is uh, around 90 percent accurate you can take 50 megapixel mode photograph also which is again very good details sharpness everything is coming low light photographs are also very good in this phone you know it takes nice photographs so main camera sensor is performing very well as expected things are fine ultra wide shot are again very good 
it takes decent photographs and about the video yes you can film up to 8k24 the true flagship phone like the other phones they are doing so you do have also ois on the phone built in that means if you film the 4k videos it will be smooth nicer but on the video i think you might find it disappointing because it just tries to film the natural one you know some phones they do make video more sharper more beautiful they do color enhancement but here it is completely natural so in case you're doing a lot of social stuffing maybe this phone video won't be as crispier that you might get on other phones but if you like natural shots this phone will give you a natural shot okay on the front you get the 32 megapixel selfie selfie is good it has a typical chinese one like you get a bit of skin smoothing all things are by default turned on so you have to make it turn off there is no 4k video recording on the front which is again down weight some premium phones like the Samsung, they give you 4K recording from the front. Now let's talk about the microscopic and 150 ultra wide mode that is available on this phone. According to the company, using the Samsung Gen 1 sensor paired with 150 degree ultra wide mode, this is the world's first fish eye mode. But I am more concerned about the microscopic mode. Here is the one. Here is a Euro. Let's see how about on this tiny coin so by default you have to place it like that or you can do a handheld here you can see there is a lot of stars wow that is amazing i don't think so any phone in the world right now can take better closer shot then this phone this is so clear microscopic photograph the real time you know or you can say real world usage is very limited there is no ip rating here so clearly it is not a true flagship that you get from the samsung apple and old lg phones so there's a bit of compromise there's no usb 3.1 it is usb 2.0 so for computer data transfer it will be a little bit slower no headphone jack and obviously no expandable storage it does, there is no telephoto i guess a lot of people will be missing the telephoto lens which other phones do give you like 20 times 50 times 100 times zoom there is no such option so so in the end i think cons are not that much deal breaking ip68 is not mandated for everyone but yeah i like to have those kinds of feature good display good camera good design and uh, good performance good speaker a lot of things are good in this phone definitely this is not going to cost you like the galaxy or iphone but yep it is a bit of expensive and paying those amount of money you get a lot of good buy then at the last you have to decide your budget your needs overall the first flagship from the realme is a good one and let's see the next gt3 or realme some other one what is going to come maybe after six to eight months do let me know guys your thoughts also this is sort of hope you like it have a great day